Lighting is the most important part of your map. In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of lighting in Source 2. I'll start with the light environment, which adds sunlight to the map, and the light is emitted from the sky. The other lights I'll go over emit light from the entity, so they'll only light up the areas around them or where they're pointed at. To spawn the light environment, press Shift E to use the entity tool, and in the tool properties on the left, click the light environment. Now place it in your map. It doesn't matter where for the light environment, just don't lose it. If you want to move it, press T to use the translate tool. As I mentioned earlier, this will light your map like the sun does. The light will go in the direction of this arrow. You can change this angle by pressing R to use the rotate tool, and you can hold control while rotating to rotate smoothly. By double clicking on it, you can open the properties, and here you can change the colors and many other things. You can also change the brightness right below the color. For a reference, a sunny day would have a brightness of 2.5. There are no official sun color values for the CS2 skyboxes yet, but you can still use the old values from CSGO. I'll have a link in the description and I'll change it when the Source 2 values get published. Simply find the sun you want and copy the RGB values of the sun into the light environment RGB values. You also want to change the color of the shadows, because in real life, the color of the sky is reflected in the color of the shadows. To do this simply, under the sky section, in the sky colors, click the eyedropper tool and choose a nice dark blue somewhere in your skybox. You need to add a skybox, otherwise the sky will be black. I'll show you how to do that now. To add a skybox, press Shift E to use the entity tools, and in the properties, click on skybox and place it on your map. It doesn't matter where this one is either, just don't lose it. To change the skybox itself, double click on it to open the properties, and click on the eyeglass icon. Now search the materials for sky underscore. There should be plenty of skyboxes used in official maps here. You can also find a few more if you change the keywords around, but I won't go over that. Now I'm going to show the Light Omni and the Light Spot. The Light Omni entity lights its surroundings like a light bulb would, emitting light from all directions. The Light Spot entity lights the area it's pointed towards like a spotlight. You can change the color, brightness, and range of these lights by double-clicking them and opening their properties. For the spotlight, you can change some values like the inner cone angle and the outer cone angle which will make it wider or thinner. On both of these lights, under the style and in its appearance, you can make it flicker or glow. Thanks for watching. I have a playlist with more mapping tutorials of this style that you can check out in the description. Like, comment, everything, and bye.